YouTube family, what's going on? It's your boy, Page and Dr. Q, your favorite student doctor. And I'm just checking in, guys, to let you guys know that I am back. I appreciate so much the support, the messages, the new subscribers. So far, we are at 367 subscribers. I know I've been gone for a few months, guys, and I can explain. The struggle has really been real for your boy. Um, I had to take some time off to really focus in on third year. Started this when I was a second year, but I'm a third year now. And um, we got three rotations under our belt, but I had to take the time off to study for my boards, my step one. I know you guys understand as future physicians yourselves, future goals, uh, um, goal seekers, dream chasers like myself, I wanted to do well. You know how important that test is for um, my future as a medical student. And um, I did pass that exam, and I am pretty happy with my score, um, but I'm going to get into more detail about that later. So far, I just want to just come in and tell you guys know we're back. Um, I'm so happy to be back with my YouTube family. You know, I see I have 367 subscribers now, so to me that means I have 367 friends, uh, family, people who are supporting me on my journey. I just hope that I can be there for you and support you on your journey, whether it be towards medicine, towards whatever goals you guys are doing, seeking, trying to achieve. I want to be there for you. I'm going to get the vlogs back going. Um, I'm going to get the content rolling, guys. And... Um, yeah, we're back on, man. Page and Dr. Q, I'm so happy to be back. So much has happened, guys. On top of passing my uh, step one, I have completed um, pediatrics rotation, psychiatry rotation, um, OBGYN rotation, and I am currently on family medicine. So just a quick tidbit about everything. Um, PEDS rotation. It was awesome. It was a four-week-long rotation. Um, I really enjoyed it, guys. Um... I did two weeks or two and a half weeks inpatient. That means in the hospital, um, you know, working with um, kids that are coming in to the emergency room. And if they have to stay overnight and be treated overnight, I saw them. I treated them. I helped with that. Um, that was an amazing experience. Um, just getting the hospital experience, getting the vibe, getting to actually treat um, real people, children, um, was an amazing experience. Then I did one week in the NICU, the neonatal ICU unit, guys, um, neonatal intensive care unit. That's where very sick newborns go, um, pretty much to just get their health to a baseline level enough where they can go home to um, their parents. Um, these are um, infants with everything from like respiratory distress, where their lungs haven't developed properly so that they can breathe effectively they could have hypoglycemia which is low blood sugar hyperglycemia um, they could have a, a myriad of disease some of them have um, some of them their parents were drug users and um, drug abusers and therefore that impacted their overall health and they need to just basically we help build them up um, in order for them to um, basically get back to a baseline level of health so that they could live healthy lives. Also, although that was kind of a sad kind of deal, it was rewarding and a fun experience all in all. Um, and then I also did um, a few days outpatient. Outpatient is what you're probably most familiar with when you think about going to your home pediatrician. Outpatient means outside of the hospital setting. So that was like I was doing a lot of wellness checks. A lot of school was starting up. So I was seeing a lot of kids who just wanted to get their physicals for sports and wellness for school. And um, that was a great experience. So in conclusion about pediatrics, and I can always make a video that's more in depth about the experience for the, my people who are exclusively interested in pediatrics. I really want to share with you guys some inside info. Um, but just all in all, I really enjoyed it, man. I really enjoyed the opportunity to get hands-on, really work with people. It's way better than second year, which is just book work. First and second year is book work. I'm, I'm working with people. I'm actually doing um, what I always sought out to do. I'm not there yet, but I'm training. I'm getting better, you know. I'm a people person, so getting the opportunity to interact with um, the kids, their families, to get to know them, to learn them, man. And I saw so many cool things. So I'm thinking everything from malaria to Kawasaki's disease, just really rare things that you read about in a book, but to actually see it with your own two eyes to get you put your hands on that patient to help them get better and to see them get better is just an experience I can't even describe to you guys. Guys, I'm not going to just come back with this short, quick video and not really give 
um, anything to you guys. So I'm also going to post right after this a I had a, I did OB Gyn, which was an experience all in itself, and I'm going to make a complete video about peas and OB Gyn and psychiatry um, to come. So look out for those. But I did a 24 hour call on OB. It was a short video because you know I was kind of restricted in what I was able to show. You know with security and privacy and all those things but i just took you guys on 24-hour call with me um on ob um i delivered two babies on ob by myself with supervision of course but it was crazy guys so guys yeah i passed up one i got three to four rotations in my belt i'm gonna tell you guys about all those experiences i want you guys to continue to follow me along you know please subscribe please continue to like and share my vids guys i'm coming back um, I just had to really take some time to really focus. I hope y'all understand the struggle was real. It was an up and down experience for me studying for step one. And so, but I'm back, clear minded. Um, vision is going, moving straight forward. Um, I'm a third year medical student, guys. I'm almost done with my third year. A few months and I'll be done going on a fourth year. I want you guys to come on this journey with me. I appreciate the new subscribers. I really appreciate the old subscribers. And I welcome anybody who wants to subscribe. I'm going to come with the content. I try to keep you guys in mind. I'm available to you guys. I'm, I see your questions. If I haven't answered them, please know that I see them and I will answer your questions. Just leave me a comment. Leave me a like. Send me a message, man. Whatever I can do to help you, as soon as I get a moment, I will do it. Um, I appreciate you guys. You guys are like a virtual family, um, believe it or not. Um, so yeah, so look out for that 24 hours on call right after this and then later this week I'm gonna try to keep the video shorter so that I can put them out more frequently. I've been getting that advice from some of my subscribers um, You know you guys rather have quantity and quality, but kind of more condensed, you know I've been putting out longer videos. I'm gonna try to keep them under eight minutes um, from now on so this is just a quick, quick, quick update. Just want to let you guys know I'm back. I wanted to get this out quick, so I'm doing it on my iPhone. I hope the quality is decent and respectable for my fine, fine followers and subscribers. You guys, thank you for the support. It's your favorite student, Dr. Page and Dr. Q. I appreciate you guys. Make your dreams into your reality. Peace.